Hey guys, it's Bart again, and Dave. Say hi, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Anyway, we're here today for episode two to tell you about our path through surrogacy, but really our question originally was whether we should do surrogacy or do adoption. Um, there wasn't much information online on this specifically, and we had to talk to a number of friends who have gone through both processes independently. That would have been crazy if they did both at the same time. But uh, we had to get information from them to understand what they went through and the differences between the two. So really when it came down to it, there were four main things that stuck out as differences for us. So first off, do your job, Dave. Money. So surrogacy and adoption are two different price tags. Um, where we live, adoption is typically around 30 to 40K, um, where surrogacy could be five to six times that. So, uh, yeah, more money, please. Number two, time. So we actually thought beforehand that adoption was going to be a lot shorter time-wise than surrogacy, but it's quite variable. So we had people we talked to who waited two months before they got matched um, with, with their child, where I had another friend who thought they wanted to get matched within a few months and it took two years. So it's really variable where when you look at surrogacy, it's around a two year process. There's a few things health wise, depending that could take longer or shorter, but you're looking at pretty much if things go smoothly around that time period. Next genetic link. So this might seem obvious, but for some people it's a preference, whether they want um, their child to be genetically similar to one of the parents, um, in adoption, obviously you don't have a genetic link. It's important to some people, it's not important to others. So just another factor. And lastly is complexity. So we originally thought that surrogacy was gonna be way more complex than adoption, but really there's just different parts of it that are more complex than others. So with adoption, you're looking at more home visits and quality of the family itself that they do versus when you're looking at uh, surrogacy, uh, there's more health tests and things that are more complex on that side. So those are the four um, main factors we found as differences. There's no right or wrong. It's really what your family decides best for you guys. And yeah, for us, we decided that we wanted to go through surrogacy. And those were the main factors that we took into play. All right, see you next time, guys.